this is everything we could have hoped for. The, the excitement and the thoroughness of people's participation is uh, more than we could have asked for. People are really embracing everything that we're doing here. They're taking a lot of the workshops. Each individual has signed up for four or five of them. Um, everyone's got some great projects going on in the various different painting rooms. A few people have three or four things that they're, uh, you know, just cruising through. I mean, it's a, it's a really intensive, creative vibe. And I mean, this is, there's, there's more, more art, there's more creativity, there's more learning going on in this little campus than at this particular moment than you'll see in, in you know, a lot of art universities. To me, this is like the, uh, you know, like a groundbreaking threshold of uh, a tattoo-related event with no tattooing. Drawing, color theory, you know, composition, um, you know, just anatomy, everything. Um, and applying all that information tattooing is pretty exciting. It was the most amazing new experience. It was unlike any other convention I'd ever been to. It was just a, a convergence of like minds and people who were really serious about what they were doing. No sideshow acts, just serious people making serious art. Tattoos being recognized as fine art and, and, and us doing the, the same kind of homework that our predecessors ha have done with, uh, with other forms of fine art. Means that all of our clients have access to all the possibilities that are out there in the world of tattooing and they're going to come into our shops asking for that. If we're going to succeed and survive as, as a business, we got to be able to do it all. Now just about everyone knows the value of expanding their artistic repertoire and uh, building their knowledge base through other mediums. And I love the fact that we're doing, you know, we're doing figure drawing. We've been doing still life work. We, um, Kim Reed is out teaching her landscape painting thing today. Um, you know, Sean Barber and Nick Baxter have been doing have been doing their seminars and workshops on on portrait painting. So working in another medium is perfect. You can you can get really good at doing new things and bring that back to your clientele and be like, hey, maybe we can try this and really expand your tattooing range from there. People in art school are starting to seriously consider tattooing as a logical outcome for what they're going to do at the end of art school. That's been a long time in coming. It didn't happen overnight. My painting, my drawing, my sculpture, printmaking, all of those things have informed the way that I tattoo. Tattooing has, I think, made me a much tighter, more careful painter. Painting has made me a much freer and, um, you know, looser and more intuitive tattooer. The more you explore and the more you uh, discover new techniques and new ways of approaching light and dark and uh, depth of field, um, details, uh, airiness, all those things that you might see in a painting, you can apply to a tattoo. The people who are just coming here, I mean, especially some of the, the newer tattooers who are just getting into it, this is, uh, this is kind of like the, well, you know, it's, it's kind of like the name implies. It's a paradise for them. They're, they're just blown away. But I still